Hello and welcome to another Ray Outfitted video. Today we have a Max Air 7500 fan with an inherent squeak when it's on. So we're going to take it apart, diagnose it, and see if we can find a fix for it. First thing we have to do is take off the bug screen. So let's just take your four outside clips, just turn them by hand, 180 degrees, and then the screen comes right out. We're just going to demonstrate the noise from the fan that the client's complaining about. Okay, so now our next step is the take the hex head out of the fan, which is a 2.5 millimeter. So let's put our Allen key inside. And just loosen it enough that the fan will slide right off. And now we're going to cut our two wire ties. We're going to take off our two 8 mil nuts on the bottom of the fan motor. Lift out our motor and catch the two washers as they fall. And then we can take off the back of the fan motor and see where the squeak's coming from. Now we're going to take out our two Phillips head screws. We're going to take off the small snap ring on the bottom side of the motor. Slide off the bottom cap and make sure that you keep your gasket and don't lose it. And we're going to slide the motor out of the permanent magnets. So as you can see, the inside of the case is all filled with dust. This is from the brushes wearing. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean out the entire fan, put it back together and see how it works. So now that we've got everything cleaned, we've put the gasket back on the upper plate. There's little tabs on the sides here that we hook the wires around for the brushes. And you'll take your rotor, put it back in your top bearing, as you can tell. Now it's nice and quiet, so we're going to unhook our two brushes. One, two. And then we're going to position everything to get it ready to go back into the case. Now when you put the case back on, you can see there is an arrow for white and black. You can see the white wire comes to this brush and the black wire comes to that brush. So now we're going to slide it back in. And when you do, make sure to hold it in nice and tight because with it being a permanent magnet, it is going to want to pull it out of the brushes. So when you put it back in, make sure you get everything all back in together nicely and that it does sit all the way down and there is a little notch there you just have to make sure you get that pressed in together properly so now your rotor will hold itself in take your bottom plate make sure you've got the gasket on and when you've got your gasket on put it back in and you'll see the notch in the plate match that up with the notch in the casing Slide it together, line up your notches, and press. Now we'll put our two bolts back in and give it a test. Now that we've got the motor back together, we're going to put our snap ring back on the bottom. And let's give it a twist and see if it still squeaks. Nice and quiet. Now that we've got our motor reassembled, we're going to drop it back into the plate on the top. Put our nuts and washers back on. Make sure that the fan is in the exact same spot that you took it out from so that you don't have your blades off center scraping on the side. Okay, now that we've got the fan bolted back down, we're gonna put two wire ties back on the wires so that they stay out of the way and don't have to worry about them catching in the fan. And then trim off the excess for the wire ties. And then we'll take our fan blade and put it back on and make sure that the flat spot is where the set screw goes for the fan blade and push it all the way up and just give it a good snug to tighten it down. Don't want it too tight because it is an aluminum shaft. And then yeah, our fan's nice and quiet. Now we're going to put our bug screen back up. So line it with your four lock tabs, twist them back in. Reverse of how you pulled them out. Ooh. 
This was our video on how to repair a Max Air Fan Squeak in a 7500 series. Tools required for this were a 2.5 mil Allen key, a 8 mil socket, a Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of snap ring pliers, and a pair of wire cutters. If you liked what you saw, give it that ray thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys soon.